Yeah. He said, I think I've led black folk into a permanent Burning, building. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. And because he says, there's no, you can, he said, you cannot have social integration unless you have economic integration. Mm-hmm. And you cannot have economic integration unless you do what? Unless you redistribute some of these resources into the hands of black folk. And that's when they killed him. Yes, sir. Does that mean it? Killed him then, because you know why? Because Martin Luther King, right before he got assassinated, three months before that, you know what he said to the country? He said, I got to admit, he said, I think I made a big mistake. Yeah. He said, I think I've led black folk into a permanent building. I'm doing the building. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. And because he says, there's no, you can, he said, you cannot have social integration unless you have economic integration. Mm-hmm. And you cannot have economic integration unless you do what? Unless you redistribute some of these resources into the hands of black folk. Wow, wow, wow. So you all come in, come in, let's do lunch and learn. Sky nurse, I think this, I might be butchering her name. I'm not trying to do What's my, name. okay, hold up. Something else is open on my phone. Okay. I hear my voice. You all come in. Let's do lunch and learn. Let's do lunch and learn. Um. Happy, happy afternoon. Depends on where you're tuning in from, right? Whether you're tuning in from the East or West Coast. So welcome to the channel. This is the channel where, where kings and queens reside. And we live and make moves like royalty, right? This is the channel where kings and queens reside. Or where we come to learn and exchange our intellectual knowledge. And we make moves like royalty because we are royalty so come in i am known as the crypto queen welcome to my channel i changed the name of the channel to queenology because sometimes i get into numerology and spirituality and speaking on spirituality i saw a um, a facebook post a post on facebook says no amount of money no amount of money can make you more spiritual or no, no amount of money can fix your spirituality. I think it was worth that way, right? That no amount of money can fix your spirituality or fix a spiritual problem, however way they word it, right? No amount of money can fix a spiritual problem. Likewise, I would like to say that no amount of spirituality can fix a money problem, right? If no amount of money can fix a spiritual problem, Right, then no amount, let me fix my sweater, no amount of spirituality can fix a money problem. You have to have financial education. You have to have your financial IQ in line and you have to have financial education. So welcome in. Hello, Annie. Hello to you. Thank you for tuning in. Nerd 2. I think there's Nerd 2. Thank you for tuning in as well. Monique, hello. Tuning in from Facebook. Thank you so much for tuning in because this is a lunch and learn for the first uh, people that came in. Let me get two more people opportunity to come in and say hello. Uh, I want to give you a shout out. We usually do the five minutes of fame, but I want to get right into the topic because I have a destination that I need to be at. Right. So welcome to the channel. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you are not a subscriber, also make sure that you hit the thumbs up to so to show your support. Uh, for the information and knowledge on the channel. Hello, Gwen. Thank you for tuning in as well. My Patreon member, thank you for tuning in. So that's four people. We're at the four-minute mark. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, Again, no amount of money can fix a spiritual problem, right? But no amount of spirituality can fix a money problem. You have to have a financial IQ. You have to have a financial education. You have to have and understand the best of both worlds. And this this is what I think people don't understand, right? The best of both worlds. A second. Let's see, can I bring this over some? Just a little bit. It's my Lawyer Taxes Big Time book in the background. Uh, speaking of a book, I have a book. Just have to make some minor critiques to it that's being released. I'm going to ask you to support the book. I also have my Millionaire Notes book. You can find it on Amazon. And I have a copy here. Um, you can get autograph copy if you like. Just cash app me um, 2111 on cash app. Let me put that up. 
2111 on Cash App to get your personalized autograph copy. Uh, make sure that once you, and I have the Cash App strolling at the bottom, it's um, dollar sign LD Financial Coaching. Um, just make sure that when you Cash App in the notes section, that you include your full detailed mailing address and the name that you would like for me to autograph the book to. I need the full details, the full name, because oftentimes your cash app may not reflect your full name, right? And so like my cash app does not. So in that note section, put your full name, um, or if you just like me to autograph to your first name, put the first name and your full mailing address which will include your zip code as well, people. I definitely need your zip code. Uh, some people just put the city and state and they do not include the zip code. And if you're somewhere like Vegas, right, I don't know what zip code, you know, to, to put it to. So um, thank you in advance. The cash app is strolling in the bottom. And then someone just gave me. Annie, thank you so much. Taylor, thank you for the cash app um, donation. Also, um, I don't know. I don't really like the calling out name, so I won't call out the first name. But Miss Harris, um, thank you for cash at me. She said that was her tithe. So I take honor in some of you all uh, considering me your spiritual guidance or your spiritual mentor. And my affirmations over your giving is always that the infinite God, infinite spirit, infinite power returns that to you a thousand times more with good to all this concern with the same peace and efficiency and expeditiously that you gave it out, that according to Deuteronomy 1 and 11, that's what you see my 1111 1 in the background, that comes back to you. The infinite God can definitely bless you on a whole higher level than any man can, right? Than any man can. So when you give unto that exchange of services, which is pouring into you, that's how that the universe works to bring those unexpected and sometimes um, expected blessings that just have been at a, a standstill or stagnated or at a hold up, right? Uh, the universe will break that through to you through the infinite God, infinite spirit by an exchange of services. So let's get into this topic. Thank you again, Miss Taylor. Thank you so much. Um, again, you all hit the, hit the uh, thumbs up. I, I don't see, I think it's like only six thumbs up right now so uh whether you're watching this live or on the replay super bowl 2022 as you see crypto is dipping back into the green the last i looked um bitcoin was at 40k right all-time high of 66,000 was november of last year okay i'm looking at something else at this article about Moderna would share its jab technology. So South Africa and who made a jab based on it anyway? I wish South Africa would not do that. Um, they have the lowest numbers um, as it relates to the people that have um, been a recipient of the C-19. So if it's not broke, I don't know why they're trying to fix it. I'm always... Um, praying for Africa. I know the rich minerals there and the rich history of what of Africa and the true history of Africa. So uh, I always keep it updates on what's going on in Africa and how they want to um, jab the population there because of that. Now, you have uh, Miami Heat basketball star Jimmy Butler um, said you're going to hear, you all said this on February the 13th of last year, you're going to hear some of the biggest names telling you to get into crypto, right? Uh, but he says, but they don't know you or your finances, only you do. So trust yourself. So now you have a, a video ad from Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange and Ch Chinese Canadian CEO, <clears throat> who is now the world's uh, richest crypto billionaire. Ranks at number 15 in the world as the wealthiest people or the wealth in, in network at 73.4 billion, right? That before counting his crypto cash, 
That's how much it's worth, $73.4 billion, according to Bloomberg. So now you have this uh, collaboration. And I want you to pay attention to China. This is Binance Chinese slash Canadian CEO, who is now the world's largest crypto billionaire, right? And so with this video that they are, are crypto commercials that's coming from Super Bowl, now known as the Crypto Bowl, you have the biggest rivals that's going to be in this. Um, people, this is going to be a lot of money coming in to secure ad spots of the upcoming um, Super Bowl that's going to happen February 13th. And again, it's now called Crypto Bowl. So you have the Bahamas-based FTC. And you already know that the Bahamas has its own CBDC already, the Central Bank's digital currency. So the Bahamas-based FTC in Hong Kong and Singapore headquarter Crypto.com, which rank in the top 10 crypto exchanges, right? Likely people have paid millions for 30-second ads during the upcoming championship game. So they are teaming up with Miami Heat guard Kyle um, Lowry, I hope I'm pronouncing it. Sound like Mike Lowry, but is it Cal uh, Lowry? I don't watch basketball as much, right? I know people think I probably do, but I just, um, I just don't watch it, you know, that much because I used to be around it so much when I coached it, and on my leisure time, I didn't feel like watching it on television. Television, and I don't watch television as much anyway. And so, however, right. This exchange brought Super Bowl spots, and they were saying that it was not an immediate return. However, NBC broadcaster sold his commercial time for the upcoming game as much as $7 million for a 30-second spot, 27% up last year. Now, you all already know that the Lakers Staples Center is now called Crypto.com. And so the Super Bowl moment um, with this is that this is taking over anytime that a Super Bowl is now known as the Crypto Bowl, right? You have at least five or six crypto companies that will be featured five to six, five plus six equal 11 people will be featured in Super Bowl commercials this year. The Crypto Bowl is turning out people to be just like the dot com of 2000, right? Most dot com companies uh, during the year 2000, they didn't broadcast until that final year, until that last year of 2000 as the transition of the dot com bubble was coming in. Right. And so you got Binance is letting its rivalries out. Uh, big thing going into this. Uh, again, Crypto.com made headlines for naming their rights. The uh, or name it uh, the Staples Center Crypto.com. They, they they made headlines and they partnered with LeBron James. He has the I uh, I Promise Academy to teach inner city youth about the blockchain and children in his academy. And also, I don't know if you all know this, but Tom Brady as well. They they partnership with Tom Brady. And so Jimmy Butler, back to Jimmy Butler, um, commercial is just the start of a social campaign. And this is going to begin in three days, Jimmy Butler's commercial. Right? And so, yeah, big news on the horizon. Not too big for me. One thing I have noticed, though, however, is that more YouTubers that were against cryptocurrency are now coming out and saying, hey, I have crypto. I'm in crypto groups on Facebook. I'm holding this much of crypto. I don't have a lot of my portfolio because they can't deny this movement that's coming. You can only suppress a lot of people. And I, I well, let me let me rephrase that. Let me not use the word lie, right? Let me let me not use the word lie because I don't know if this was intentional or non-intentional because maybe in their mindset. Um, they really didn't understand the cryptocurrency movement. Maybe they were not visionary. So I don't think using the word lie probably um, 
But I'll say it this way. They had fair intentions in place of selling their products and services. And I was telling people uh, back in when the Bitcoin halving happened in um, 2019, I tell people, even though, I mean, 2020, even though I got in late at 2020, it was at that time $3,500. And I totally revamped my my, um, channel. I totally... um, Changed my brand name from Queen of Credit, even though I still love to teach about credit and I'm still passionate about people getting their credit fixed because right now we are still under FICO 10 and FICO 10T. And most people cannot wait until 2022, 2023 until we're not going to have any more three credit agencies, right? To where there's going to be one credit window, one credit bureau. But most people need to utilize still FICO 10 and FICO 10 and T this year because they are struggling financially. Right. The step, the staple center, yeah, became um, crypto center. So you got crypto center. Um, well, let me get you all's opinion because I'm, I'm, I'm straddling the fence about this. I, I thought about really, let me know. I want you all, whether you're watching this live or in the replay, I'm going to take a poll, right? I'm not saying I'm going to take people's opinion, right? But I will take a poll because I'm, I'm, I'm divided with this back and forth. Um, I changed my channel name and, you know, it doesn't have to change my name to Queen of Crypto or Crypto Queen, rather. It doesn't mean my name has to change, but I changed the channel name to Queenology. And the reason being because I just don't talk about crypto. Uh, I just don't talk about a specific subject. I combined spirituality and numerology, and I just felt like that was the best fit. Um, I really discovered the name from um, R.C. Blakes, who talks about the moves that queens should make and how queens should carry themselves and how queens should treat kings, that queens should be financially savvy. Um, You should be intellectually smart and astute about what's going on in this economy, in this economic times. And so... Um, just let me know, yes or no, Queenology, or should I keep the channel name, Crypto Queen? Doesn't really matter to me because my brand name is still going to stay Crypto Queen. The channel name is just going to change. It's kind of like Robert Kiyosaki, but his channel name is the Rich Dad Channel, right? Um, back to Curtis, the NBA doing slots of crypto ads in in games. Wow. I haven't even looked at that. Um, again, I don't watch sports that much. If I just want something to do in my downtime where I'm really not trying to do a lot of critical thinking, then television, and unfortunately, this is the thing, television for a lot of people is their life, right? They got to watch, seeing what's the latest updates, what's the latest, um, you know, whatever they find um, Housewives of Atlanta, they might be old. I don't know what people watch. The Netflix, like when I'm into Netflix, I'm watching things that's sci-fi. I want to watch older movies like Terminator. Um, I want to watch The Matrix again, over and over again to get those uh, those codings that's revealed. Uh, I'm watching things like The Walking Dead that's showing me about the CDC that's telling you the truth because you know the word tell lie vision means to lie about a vision and unfortunately most people take everything that they see on the news and media as the gospel truth everything um everything about what's reported and speaking of that this is gospel truth which is an oxymoron within itself but at any rate um speaking of that you just saw the media come out and says, hey, we've added so many jobs and that the job market has um, added jobs, right? In January, thousands of jobs, which this gave a spike to cryptocurrency. So you're going to have more than likely people that's going to trade over, over the weekend, Right. Okay, Monique, thank you, Curtis. I see your... No, I'm not doing Queen of Assets. I just don't... It just makes me think about, you know, Queen of Ass. I don't I don't really like... But I appreciate, you know, your input, your suggestion. Um, 
But no. No, I thought about Cash Flow Queen as well. It, even if you Google, you'll see some of my things about Cash Flow Queen. But I teach more than just about Cash Flow. Uh, if I want to do something, a live stream about numerology and spirituality, I'm going to do it. What's going on with this? Now, this goes from 36,000. This is coin 360 to 40K. Let me refresh it. Because last I looked, it was at 40K. I don't know why it's keep, uh, maybe it's showing the highs and the lows. I don't know. Right. But this is where it is now um, on all the pump and dump. As you have Iron Mix and Game Stop um, that dump 42 million. And then you had Metaverse, aka Facebook, that crashed stocks wise last year. But you also have some other things going on, people, that the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston says is, is they want to um, look into CBDCs, central banks, digital currency. I don't know why this red and green um, keeps, um, you know, exchanging or inter interchanging or whatever. But you can rest assured if you are a trader, right? You are a trader, someone that flips um, their crypto back into cash which is the lowest yield asset uh, that there is. But some people, for some reason, uh, may be in financial situations, but they don't understand the tax bill that that's going to bring. I did a live stream um, yesterday about the 1.1 million, 1.1 million Jeopardy win winner named Amy. And she, um, she had to pay over 500,000 in taxes, right? 500,000 in taxes. And people, it is time out for talking about what we what we are being taught in school. Right. The only time I bring that conversation up is when I want to show people that it is a strategic design. It is strategically designed that schools do not teach you this. But I'm not going to use that as an excuse and a crutch. It is too much knowledge out here self-learning, self-education for you to continue to talk about what schools don't teach you. Because guess what? For the mass majority of people, even if school did teach this information, they probably wouldn't gravitate to it. Right? They probably would not gravitate to it. Because people have a certain mindset about what they uh, want to do, and that may be by systematic programming, that may be by their upbringing, by their culture, right? So it's time out to be talking about what schools didn't teach you. And I get it, you know, you know, having been, if you were at a head start of K through 12, being taught how to make money work for you, how to escape the rat race, how to escape a job, then your mindset will be molded differently. I do agree. But now that you know the agenda behind why schools don't teach you this, because as, um, who was that? Says we don't want a nation of workers. We want a nation of thinkers, right? Now that you know the agenda, my thing is, what are you going to do about it? That was John D. Rockefeller. Like, you know the agenda, and if you're going to sit and complain about what you don't learn in school, then to me, you are your own worst enemy. It's you. Because when you are brought into, you know, a better understanding and wisdom now you are here responsible for your actions from here on out. It says the truth will only thing that sets you free, but what will pr provide you freedom is action. Action once that truth is exposed to you. Right, 70% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck um, Curtis, but yet they want to complain about what they're not being taught in schools. And, you know, I have 
And I, you know, if I was quick on my feet, I would have answered it this way. Uh, for the last two days, I've had um, two individuals that come on my live stream to ask me about the work from home, make money online opportunity. And one of their questions is, for whatever reason, um, is, you know, can someone with a disability use this opportunity that's at $129 promotion? Yes, $129, not $1,029. It is at $129. And one of the questions I've been asked the last two days is, can someone with a disability uh, be able to do this online make money from um, home online program. And I'm thinking, listen, if you can join my live streams and even comment on my live streams, you know, I think the person yesterday asked me, what if you have a hearing, hearing or vision impaired? But the person was typing on the comment section on my live streams. Even if they had a hearing and vision impairment, then yes, because this is an absolute make money online opportunity. So if you can view my live stream and you can type in the comment section, then yes, you can make more money working from home. So with, with that being said, because people listen, being broke is a part of the journey, but staying broke is a choice. Right. Being broke is a part of it can be a part of the journey. But if you stay broke, that's your choice. Listen, if you don't have if you cannot have it in your head, it will not manifest in your hand. A lot of things with people breaking past the threshold of living paycheck to paycheck and putting their money to work for them. As the Hill reported, food prices skyrocket in January, putting a heavy burden on the poorest people. I want to know if you're not growing your money, please tell me, how are you surviving? If you're not growing your money, please let me know, how are you surviving? Who are you waiting on to come save you? Is it Jesus? Is it the government? Or is it Santa Claus? Which one out of the three? Do you think Santa Claus is going to come down the chimney again, give you two Christmases in a year? Do you think Jesus is going to come out the clouds and present to you a rapture, which is Santa Claus? That whole concept, I won't even get into that part. Right? Or do you think the government... I want another stimulus. They need to increase my SSI payments. It's never in the government's best interest to help you excel financially. I'm trying to make sure that I say it in a, a way because at the end of the day, people will blame anybody for their money reasons except themselves. Exactly, Curtis. Passive income required in 2022 taxes plus inflation. Curtis, why aren't you in my private network group? You've been following me too long not to be in there. You let me know what, what else you have because I like intellectual people. I don't have I don't like people that I have to con continuously to convince that this will help them level up financially and to have more money to invest in cryptocurrency which is the greatest investment right now of all times, as Muhammad Ali probably would say, of all times. Right? May his um, soul rest in power. So you got Ether up 12%. Uh, percent. A lot of people was buying into Ether and the dip. Um, you have, I have to look at this one. See, you know, <clears throat> Solana got hacked. You know, Solana got hacked. Uh, but I, you know, so sold, but sold is back at 11.8%. Um, you got mana up 5.5%. Again, yes, Bitcoin is up. Matic is 8.7%. Uh, 
XRP up 6%. I'm really going to start doing more research in XRP because I'm really, really with XRP and she. I'm really going to do more research to see where they ever reach their all-time highs. And, and this is why XRP will be the central bank's digital currency. I'm not disputing it. I'm not disputing it at all. Right? I'm not disputing it at all. However, I do believe that it is XRP will be used to uh, globally, globally make transactions. But this is what people don't understand. The transactions are going to be fast and it's going to be cheap. So I'm not sure if XRP really is going to be that token that take out price wise because of its speediness and uh, um, ability to provide fast, cheap transactions. Even though it will be the, the central bank's global technology that's being used, I'm not sure if it's, you're going to see that all time high again. So I, I will. I'm not saying for sure that I'm 100% accurate, you know, but I will do my research. Uh, but it's just something I was thinking about. I don't see um, how that will come together to, to make it an all time high, even though I do have that in my portfolio. Um, Curtis says some people think the third stimulus will come again. With the LOL. <laughs> and, and, you know, people didn't like it. Dave Ramsey got butchered when he said this. But, you know, as he said, if you are um, depending on a third stimulus, you're pretty much already screwed. And he's right. It, prices are too high. I mean, that that's only going to last some people a week or two. It's not a plan of action. It's not a progressive plan. It's not going to bring you additional cash flow. And for the people that's, that join me in the um, work from home, make money online opportunity, make sure you've been in it since last year. Um, make sure that you connect with me to get you a best tax person. Do not let the tax person that's been accustomed to doing your taxes in the past continue to do your taxes because they may not know all of the tax write-off, all of your 470 tax write-off that you are supposed to have so that your um, income tax return is higher this year. If you join me in the Make Money for Online opportunity in 2021, 2021, 2019, make sure that you have all of the tax 470 so you can have larger tax returns. See, the whole purpose of this program is so many different strategies to get you money back. Right. Uh, do I have a course piece to you? I have a book. I have a, uh, a, idiot, a PDF book. And this is what I'm doing. I'm going to do because I do recognize that some people learn differently. Some people learn differently. I will uh, start working on a video course where people can listen in video, uh, video and audio. Right now, all I have is um, you can go to cash on crypto.com. I'll show you that website. I have my Queen of Coins PDF book. And with the booklet, it has the links to the wallets. As I elaborate exactly what cryptocurrencies out of the 10,000 that without a doubt are going to be used because out of the 10,000 people, not all of them will last. So you get the um, cash on crypto report. This is the website. It's just a click and order. And then I also have a uh, book release that's coming out. Um, I'm just critiquing some things. Everything is already done. There's some small changes that has to be made within the next 24 to 40, over the weekend, I'll say it that way. Uh, changes that's going to be made over the weekend, but it is on a um, child's level of learning, which I would, would think this really will help people learn about cryptocurrency in a very fun and entertaining type way, format. And so um, look out for my announcements coming um, next week that this is hot and ready to purchase on Amazon. It's called Crypto Chris Profits. 
And it's the rest to riches, Bitcoin millionaire, the poor little rich kid story. I'm so excited about this. This has been like a year of work. Uh, that's his uh, friend girl, Crypto Christy and Crypto Chris. And they learned the power of networking with people, right? Networking with people and their friends to introduce this new cryptocurrency movement. As you can see, Crypto Chris is putting cash fiat currency into a machine and it's producing him his Bitcoin coins. So I'm so excited about that. Um, I hope you all will be excited as well and support that movement. I'm excited about helping people level, level up or leverage up their cryptocurrency and their cash flow. Whether it's by credit. Really? Uh, Gwen, I need to look at that. She says, Ada is at 1111. Right, let me um, definitely will pull that up. Thank you, Gwen, for letting me know. But the story I had up earlier, you have the U.S. Federal Reserve is continuing to research into a digital dollar. Right, of course they are. They've already released the white paper on that. They already released the white paper um, in January, right? And so it has unveiled a technical um, specification for how it may work. The Washington Post reported researchers designated a system that can handle more than one point. Listen at this, people. More than 1.7 million transactions a second. Now, how fast and cheap is that? To settle payments in under two seconds while operating, listen at this, 24-7 without power outages, According to a new paper on the subject, the kind of digital dollar looks. So let me ask you this, right? For people, I really want to know this, that's converting cryptocurrency back into this cash, fiat, currency system. Why, when this is about to be done away with, when it's about to be digitalized, when they're printing this as fast as you can spend it. People, I want you to imagine this. I want you to imagine this. Imagine if there was a helicopter. This is why this is called helicopter money. The helicopter was just raining dollar bills. Would you have the mindset to save this? When it could be distributed to you out at any, any given time, any given moment? Would you, anything that is freely distributed, would you have the mindset to stack and save? This is why I said, build your cash flow to invest in more crypto. And this is why I have the make money online um, a couple of hours. It does not require eight, nine hour days. However, for $128, people, you can position yourself, I mean, $129. And this is a promotion. It's going back to $270 after this promotion ends. Right? After this promotion ends. So, thank you so much, Monique. So, if you can flip $129 for just, for let's just say $4,000 a month of passive income. Now, let me break down the math to you. $4,000 a month of passive income would require a $19 an hour pay seven hours out of the day. That's it. $19 an hour on average. See, $4,000 a month is just $19 an hour. Is You know, it's not a big number. What if you can flip that $129? until $19 an hour. And then instead of putting the seven hours a day from Monday through Friday, the seven hours will also be maybe five to nine or six to nine, three hours a day. And then you include four hours or five hours on Saturdays and Sundays. For $4,000 of passive income, on average $19 an hour, Seven hours put in, five hours a week. But if you include the weekend, you can put in three to four hours a day. 
and bring in $4,000 passively, not earned income, not the highest tax bracket that you can make. Again, Amy, the $1.1 million winner on Jeopardy, she had to pay half of her $1.1 million in taxes because that money was considered earned income, not business income, not residual income, not passive income. So, yes, ISO um, 222. This is the thing, people. You can know all the cryptocurrencies that's going to be a part of the 1,000. If you don't have enough money to invest them, in, you're going to cut yourself short. In other words, why settle to be a thousandaire when you can become a decamillionaire? And some people are settling because honestly, they're just too lazy to get their cash flow up. Your job will never make your, the money, the income that you get from a job will never position you to make your money work for you. It's not designed for that. Your income from your job is designed to cover your outgoing expenses. So every dollar that you get in your hand right now, you have a choice. Are you going to invest in something that's going to help you make more money and up your cash flow to invest in crypto so you never have to worry about money problems again for the rest of your life? Because people, when this great wealth transfer window is closed, you're not going to be able to get in it. I'm not sure right now if the cent when the central bank's digital dollars are rolled out and released as they have these regulations for cryptocurrency underway right now, if they will even allow you to use their CBDCs, which is how a lot of people are going to get paid through a job, to invest in cryptocurrency. I definitely know they won't allow it to be used as a transaction. It's going to be declined if you're trying to buy physical gold and silver. So you have to make every dollar count for you. And every dollar that hits your hand, you have to make it into an asset. You have to make asset your employees. You put your money to work instead of you always working for money. Some of your portfolios are not big enough. You are smart enough. You are intelligent enough. But you are cash flow negative. Are you a cash flow neutral? That's good. I never said that one. I never said that one. That was good. You're either, some of you all are cash flow negative or you cash flow neutral. It means you just barely got enough because they're kicking your ass with inflation and your paycheck is not increasing and you don't have an extra cash flow plan. Wow. My uh, algorithm just dropped on YouTube to five people. It did from 300. Uh, now it went back to 295. It showed me. It must have been like when I said that. I don't care. I get on here a live stream to five. Jesus taught 12. Or he poured into the 12. He had a lot of followers. And then out of the 12, he, poured, he had a, a, another inner circle, which was the three. It took me to five again. I'm still going to keep teaching. It must, as the preacher would say, uh, teacher would say, this is something you need to hear. You are either cash flow neutral or you cash flow negative. Right? So you can come in, you can spit game about, you know, all the crypto. You don't even have enough money to really make your portfolio. <laughs> you don't even have enough money to expand your portfolio. I'm going to keep teaching since it want to put me at five people on my live stream. Your job is meant to cover your expenses, your assets, putting your money to work. You should, your assets should be working for you. It's meant to cover your financial freedom. So I'm logging out. That's all I have to say. I'm going to look at Ada. Uh, real quick, <clears throat> uh, Gwen brought that to my attention. Ada, is it? Yes. Well, it's still the one 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 code. The one one code, uh, and yes, Bitcoin is at forty k, right? So I think that's my cue to log off. I hope you all enjoyed the lunch and learn. Uh, 
Curly said the like button. Uh, yeah, somebody told me my channel was probably shadow banned. <laughs> I don't care, you know. I didn't, you know. So at any rate, if you want to get your cash flow up and your credit up to get your crypto portfolio up, if you, you understand and know that this is the new wealth movement, it's like in the, the parable in the Bible. It's like the parable in the Bible. Uh, once the man found naturally from heaven, <laughs> I'm just going to laugh at that. I'm, I'm keep going. We're going to keep this thing going. Right? It's not going to be too long, though, because I do have an appointment I have to go to. But listen, um, let me find that scripture. This is, um, let me put that scripture up. The parable, the pearl of the great price, Matthew 13 and 46. When you find something of, of great value, you find a way to increase your cash flow, right? Well, now I'm showing 395, so I don't know. Right. Once you find the answer. Now, I don't know. Naturally from heaven, your avatar picture with those braids are beautiful. That's beautiful. Right. It, my, my algorithm is doing what it's doing. But I'm ending on this. I'm ending on this. Again, what is really the kingdom of heaven? The king's domain. The domain of your brain. The king, the queen, the crown. Everyone on this channel are kings and queens, and you should walk in royalty. You should make royalty moves with your money. So again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. He was searching for a big investment opportunity, something that would increase the return on his investment. And when he found that one very precious pearl, the one very precious pearl, he went away and saw all he had and he bought it. In other words, he had found a strategy to increase the cash flow to invest in something that would bring him a greater rate of return. Once again, the kingdom of heaven. This is what sits in between the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God. The kingdom of heaven is like a net that was let down in the lake and it caused all, it caused all kinds of fish. But when it was full, the men pulled it to shore. You know, like those 10,000 bitcoins you all talking about. But when they found the thousand, right? When they found the thousand that would be a part of this new world economic system, See, they, they looked at 10,000 Bitcoin cryptocurrencies out here. But when they found the ones that the New World Order will use for sure, right? I'm, I'm just translating this. All kinds of fish. When it was full, the men put it ashore. They sat down and sorted the good and took containers, but they threw the bad away. The Bible is all about investing choices. And they collected the good fish. And they sat down and sorted it into containers. So will it be at the end of the age, the angel will come to separate the wicked from the bad. You got to know who the angels are. The reapers, the separators. In other words, this can be also the poor from the rich will be greatly separated in this transfer. And through them into a fiery furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Weeping and gnashing of teeth is also mentioned in Matthew 25 when the servant did not have or he did not multiply his money, right? He only, only saved his money. This fiat currency they're giving away from the droves, right? And so people, why are you saving cash? Why are you not flipping into the asset? And unfortunately, most people don't have it to save. 
they don't even have to say they're either cash flow negative or they're cash flow neutral. They're not in cash flow positive. They don't have thousands sitting in their bank where they can uh, put it in cryptocurrency. And either you don't understand what cryptocurrency will be to this new world economic system, or are you afraid to make that investment? If you have thousands sitting in the bank, when banks are closing, Bank of America just took $33,000 deposit. A woman has a lawsuit, a nurse, of a retaliation or discrimination lawsuit. She deposited 16000 in uh, Chase Bank. And they asked her a list of slug of questions about where did that money come from. And now she has a discrimination lawsuit. So banks are shifting. The branches are closing. They're doing it to restructure. They're buying up cryptocurrencies. They know that the shift to central banks digital currency is coming. So if you need your credit enhanced, you need to improve your cash flow. And you need these tax shelters to keep your crypto, to keep it. So you won't be highly taxed like the $1.1 million Jeopardy winner who was taxed $500,000 on her winnings. That's a half of her millionaire status. She went immediately from a millionaire to a thousandaire. That's what a lot of people are going through. While this promotion is here, text 254-788. 1149 and get in for 129 right now. Um, let's collaborate, let's network, and let's make you rich, rich. Let's be a part of the greatest wealth transfer that this generation has ever experienced. That's right, D. Um, D. Wow, you send me a text, a message too. Let's be business partners, right? Let's be a part of the greatest wealth transfer you ever experienced. You all, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for Lunch and Learn. Thank you for your comments. A very intellectual, um, live stream today my kings and queens you all be safe out there be healthy and wealthy be blessed queen out and make sure you're subscribed to the channel